Making your first million dollars online is a huge milestone every online entrepreneur strives to reach. But sadly, 90% of online businesses will just never get there. That's why in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how I went from zero to seven figures in 10 months with a brand new high ticket coaching business. And to prove to you that it's not luck, I've actually used the same exact strategy in two other businesses that I started that went from zero to seven figures as well. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do the same thing inside your coaching business, your software business, your SMA business, whatever it is, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to make seven figures in 2024. It doesn't matter whether you're a complete newbie, whether you're a brand new coach, whether you're a new agency owner, whatever it is, if you've been at it for a while, everything I'm going to share with you in here is exactly what's going to help you scale to seven figures this year. So if you want to make a million dollars in 2024, listen up because I'm going to make this video very quick and straight to the point giving you exactly what you need so that we don't have to waste any more time. But before we dive in, if you're new around here, my name is Justin Saunders and I run a seven figure coaching company called Authority Income Accelerator, where we help coaches and consultants scale their business to seven figures using the same methods that got us here. So far, we worked with over 300 online coaches and consultants and every single one of them has gotten an ROI to this point that's followed what I'm about to share with you in this video. So that goes to show that what we teach actually works. And if you wanna implement the thing Things you learn in this video promise you you are going to get results so with that let's just jump right into it first things first if you're gonna make one million dollars we need to break down into smaller parts and see what it'd be like to get there in the first place and the thing is when I talk about making one million dollars online I mean your profit at the end of the day because if you make one million dollars then you had to spend five hundred thousand dollars then you'd make five hundred thousand dollars or you know worst case scenario you spend a million and you make a million you're at zero that's why I want to talk about actually profiting money in this video and get to the point where you're making $100,000 profit each month in the bank. Because when you add up that number for one year, it's well over a million dollars. So when you subtract your business expenses and stuff like that, you'll still end up, depending on your margins, roughly around that million dollar profit range. So if the goal is 100K a month, then the remaining piece of the puzzle really boils down to what are you going to sell? How much are you going to sell it for? How many people do you need to sell it to? So let's just say you have a product and you price it at $100. Then you would need to sell over 1,000 people every single month to make $100,000. Feels like a lot, right? Now, the good news is, you're not gonna do that. I made that mistake in the past, so learn from my mistakes here. You won't have to sell a thousand people every single month. In fact, if you follow the seven steps I'm about to show with you in this video, you only have to close a few deals each and every single month to hit your goal. So step number one is decide what you want to sell. I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. The number one business strategy that's gonna take you from zero to over $1 million profit in 2024 is high ticket coaching. Think about all your alternatives, things like drop shipping, trading, SMA, Airbnb, and so on and so on. With drop shipping, you have very thin profit margins. I mean, you could make $100,000 a month, but with, let's say you're good and you have a 20% profit margin, well, you're stuck with roughly around 20K in profit. Plus, you know, you've got to deal with a ton and ton of clients, not to mention angry customers. And on top of that, you constantly have to be chasing new trends to find the next hot product. And, you know, you don't want to be dealing all this and trust me i'm speaking on experience i actually used to do drop shipping back in the day what about trading you know to be honest with you you'd be better off packing all of your money in a suitcase and throwing out the fucking window because that's really what happens when you do trading unless you are an experienced trader you're going to lose all of your money up front again speaking from experience i got into trading i got into crypto i got into options i got into stocks and thing is there is a big upside but it's super risky and i'd rather you make all of your money up front and then have some funds to invest and play around with. So if you lose the money, it's not that big of a deal, right? And the next one, how about SMA? Well, you know, SMA is great if you're okay with becoming a slave and just working for someone else your whole life. Because the thing with SMA is if you wanna make more money, you need to work with more and more clients. And the more clients you work with, the more time you need to put in. Plus these days, there's a lot of freelancers offering social media management, ad strategies and everything for a fraction of the price of what all these agency owners do. So if that's the case, you're gonna have to compete 
compete on price and it's honestly just a race to the bottom again i'm speaking from experience here i actually built up two smas to over seven figures and i shut them both down because i absolutely hated the business model and that's why your best bet is simply just high ticket coaching you simply have to pick one thing you know a lot about and find people that'll pay you a ridiculous amount of money to learn that one thing you're basically selling information that people need to solve a problem in their lives and you have the highest profit margins with this you get a hand pick who you work with and it doesn't require a lot of time once you set it up the right way and not to mention it's way more scalable and it gives you more opportunities in life like speaking on stage partnerships and other opportunities the perks go on and on and on but there's one thing that's clear if you want to make one million dollars in 2024 profit the surest way to do this is with high ticket coaching but you might be at this point right now where it's like hey how do i get started well, first thing, you need to pick one thing you're good at, or at least something that you know a lot about. It could be anything around making money, having better relationships, improving health, basically anything people want to learn to solve a problem. Now, here's an example for you. We have a client that teaches people how to be more confident on stage, how to cope after a divorce, how to get business funding, how to travel the world for free. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. There's so many different options. You just have to pick something that you're good at and it's unique. So as long as it's tied to a problem, people people want to solve or a desire they have, you will make a shit ton of money with it. And once you find this one thing, you're going to package it into a program. This basically means you'll create a structure for delivering the thing that people want to learn from you, basically giving them the information that they're paying for. So for example, you could have a curriculum people go through a couple calls per week and a community to have people network and meet like minded individuals. And then you put everything into the same place so that people can pay to get access to this one hub of just a bunch of different information and community and some really good platforms I would recommend for this me and my company we use circle.so other people use school thinkific is a good one too and so on and so on there's so many options you just got to do some research on it but essentially once you decide what you want to sell the next thing is how to sell it and that brings us up to step number two which is do some research again this is another reason why high ticket coaching is the best business model and it's because you don't even need to do a lot of research if i'm being honest with you you're basically teaching people something that you're already good at so it's really not too much research to do on that other than figuring out what their main pain points are but let's say for example if you're teaching people how to get a six pack right obviously you're gonna have to have a six pack yourself to teach other people how to have a six pack that's very important a lot of times you get coaches that come to us and they try teaching something that they've never done in their first place and it always results in not having the best results so if you want to get the fastest results, you actually have to be good at what you teach. I know that goes without saying, but for this example, you probably weren't born like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, someone that's just born out of the wombs, just ripped, huge, fucking jacked. But here's the thing, you have some sort of result and you know the challenges, you know the problems. Most importantly, you know all the shortcuts, the equipment, you know everything, but it doesn't mean you're gonna just break into the market like that. You actually need to spend some time hanging out with the people that you're going to be selling to. See what they're saying, see what they've already tried, see what their biggest challenge is at the current moment, see what's already working for them, see what they like about what's currently working for them, see what they don't like about what's currently working for them. You want to gather up as much information as possible to make this process simple for our clients we give them an ideal client avatar worksheet that has all the questions they need to ask and all they have to do is just fill in the blanks if you want that worksheet just comment your instagram username down below and i'll personally reach out and send it to you so after you get to know who you're selling to the next people you want to dig into are your competitors these are people that are selling a very similar if not the same solution as you so let's say for example we're using the six-pack abs so some of your competitors could be those selling diets that help people lose body fat to get more defined abs, those selling home workout routines to get abs, the gym workout programs that are getting abs, the diet programs, there are so many, but with each of these people, you want to know what they're already doing, what they're not doing, what you can do better than them. That's a very important one and how you can stand out from them. You want to know the best part of all this? You can do all this research 100% for free. Just hop into platforms like Reddit, 
Reddit, Quora, or Facebook groups, and you'll find everything you need to know. And a little hack here and something that's worked really well for me is if you have an audience already, you can promote a survey to your audience and say, hey, I'm gonna give $100 to five random winners that fill out the survey. And that way, if you have a big audience, you could get tons and tons of data and you just survey your current audience on the questions and problems and concerns that they already have. And at this point, once you already have the information, you're ready for the next step, which is creating a home run offer, which is probably the most important part of all of this. If you've been paying attention enough, you'll notice one thing. You're gonna be selling information, but nobody actually wants that information. What they want is to solve a problem or fulfill a desire. And this is where your offer comes into play. Your offer is basically where problems meet ideal solution. It's the promise you make to people about what you can do for them and how you're going to do it. And this is what you're going to be essentially selling. Not your in-depth curriculum that you spent 300 hours creating or however long it took. Not your 100 coaching calls a week. Not your 33 hours a day of one-on-one -on -one support. And obviously I'm joking here that a lot of that stuff's not feasible. But the main thing is like, how do you how do you create a slam dunk offer, right? And basically an offer that people, once they hear, they immediately just want. For that, you're gonna use what I call the specific strategy. That means your offer must include a specific outcome, a specific time frame, and a specific mechanism. Now, let's imagine you know a lot about marketing and you want to go into teaching businesses better marketing strategies so they can essentially make more money. And here's how you can structure that type of offer. Example one, I'll help you scale your business by 20% this month. Now, the problem with example one is it's a little bit too broad. I mean, think about it. What does 20% actually mean? I mean, if you're a business that's doing $1,000 a month and you're going to scale their business by 20%, it's really not a big increase in their business. So let's get a little bit more specific. Example two, which is a little bit better, is I'll add an additional $50,000 to your e-commerce business in the next 90 days guaranteed, which honestly, not bad. Specific outcome, specific time frame, but I think we could do a little bit better. Example three, I'll add an additional $50,000 a month to your e-commerce business by utilizing TikTok ads in the next 90 days guaranteed. Specific outcome, specific time frame, and specific mechanism. So, I mean, as you can see, you can see how the offer just gets better and better and better. And this is a strategy and a workflow that I challenge you to do as well is write down your current offer, write down a better offer, and then write down your best offer and keep doing this until you find your golden goose. And honestly, here's the crazy thing is a lot of people out there still have offers that look like example one and two that I was talking to you about. And that's why once you get started with this, you're going to be light years ahead of the competition and everybody else. And if you do this the right way, you're going to have dozens of people that are genuinely interested in working with you and ready to pay you, you know, five to 10 K a month. And if you only get 10 to 20 clients a month doing this, you're going to easily bypass the hundred K month mark. But now you have a great offer. So what's next? Step four is simple simply just marketing your offer. This is where the rubber meets the road. And there are so many ways you can go about promoting your offer. But what I've personally found to work the best is marketing your offer through Instagram. Now, you might be saying, why Instagram? Well, there are over 200 million businesses on Instagram, and it is the most popular app where people like to go and post their lifestyle. And you don't have to wonder essentially why that number is so high, right? It's because people know Instagram can be great for getting in front of your ideal clients. It's honestly like having your own personal billboard in Times Square, which is you just advertise on Instagram. Because essentially it's a platform is structured in a way that's just easy to get new clients. And and, you know, in fact, recent stats show that Instagram helps 80% of its 1.3 billion users decide on buying a product or service. So to put that in perspective, Instagram is built in a way that is constantly driving more than 1 billion people all around the world to buy whatever it is that you want to sell. Now that you know the odds are stacked in your favor, how do you use Instagram to promote your offer? Well, first things first, you need to optimize your Instagram profile. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I have a quote that I say all the time and it's simple scales complex fails i promise you one of these days i'm gonna get someone to tattoo that on their forehead and to be honest with you this is the guiding principle in everything i do in my business whenever i think about doing anything i think in terms of what's the simplest way to do this and get the best result and 
that's the mindset that I want you to adopt from here on out as well. So your Instagram profile, it doesn't have to be perfect or overcomplicated. You just need four key things to get started with. First thing, optimize your bio. You need to have a high quality picture of you on your profile picture and a one liner that tells people exactly what you do. And no, this is not the place to talk about your black belt or how good you are at a swimmer or tagging your dog or whatever high school or college that you graduated from. Truth is, no one cares. You just need one line saying, hey, this is exactly what I do. And the reason for that is you're basically turning your Instagram profile into a funnel. That one liner is your headline to your landing page. You want it to be direct. You want it to be simple and you want it to tell people exactly what you do the moment that they click on your profile. Because if they can't understand who you are and what you do in five seconds after reading it, you've already lost them. So second, you need a call to action. It could be something telling people to send you a message, book a call or whatever. Personally, I like to just have my link there. And once people click that link, it takes them to a video of me talking about what my offer is and who it's for. Third, you need strategic story highlights. Again, make it as simple as possible. You want to have just three things that are going to convert your ideal audience. Another reason why research is really important. Personally, I have one highlight for client results, one showcasing my lifestyle, basically travel, me working out, lifestyle stuff, you get the point. And then one where I talk about who I am and why you should listen to me in the first place. Finally, you need three pen posts from here. You can play around with this, but essentially you want something that immediately establishes authority and shows people you know what the hell you're talking about. So if you check out my profile, you'll see I have a call to action, a case study, and a video that tells people exactly how to get my free mini course. Now that you have your profile dialed in, you're ready to start driving leads to it. Again, there are a couple different ways you go about it. You can go the organic route if you wanted, where you could just be posting strategic content with a call to action that tells people to reach out to you. You can use paid IG ads where you boost a call to action video and just for a couple bucks a day or you go the route of doing IG shout outs where you just pay huge accounts that have your ideal audience and tell them to follow you and reach out and send you a DM. I've done all of these methods and they all work but whatever you decide to go with your ultimate goal should be to get more conversations started. Now once you have the conversations going you want to show people you care and that you understand their problems and then essentially just invite them to hop on a zoom call to talk about how you might be able to help them out. And it doesn't have to be a this or that situation. It could be a this and that situation. You know, you could do organic and paid ads and shout outs all at the same time. You just gotta figure out what works best for you. The biggest thing is just don't spread yourself too thin. For me, I personally believe in focus. So when I started my high ticket coaching business, I put all of my attention into paid ads, mainly because I had funds to invest in ads. And I ran into some roadblocks along the ways, of course, but I kept tweaking my ads and optimizing them for better and better results. And honestly, within the first 10 months in business, we went from zero to $1 million cash collected using just IG DM ads. And again, this is just cold audience too. So these are people that had no idea who I was. And if you wanna see this exact strategy I used to make it happen, I have another video that will show you and take you into a deep dive and give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of exactly everything you need to know with this. And I highly recommend you check it out because I give you literally everything you need to start getting leads and closing your first deals as a high ticket coach. Once you close that first deal, here's the next thing, which is step five, making your first five sales. So whatever you got to do to get your first sales, do it over and over and over again until you have at least five clients. You don't need to reinvent the wheel every single time you do this and once you have these first five clients, do everything you possibly can to get them results. This is the make or break of your business. If you can get amazing results for your clients, trust me, your business is going to blow up because nothing sells more than results. When people see you've actually helped other people achieve and do the things that you promise you can help them do, it makes it a whole lot easier for them to buy and also believe in you. And if they can believe, they'll pay whatever you charge, which brings us essentially to the next thing. Step six, increase your prices. When you first get started, you wanna charge anywhere between one and $3,000 just to make it easier for people to say yes. But once you've gotten those first five clients and you help them get the results, it's time to double or even triple your prices. So if you started charging out at 1K, raise your price to 3K, see what happens. Start at 2K, 
go to 5k. You start at 3k, go to 7k and just see what happens. There's not one way to go about this. The important thing is you're just testing the market because you can always raise your prices and then bring them down if you need to. You can't keep your prices low and then bring them up after you pitch it, right? Like if I pitched you, hey, my program is $10,000, like I can't do it. I'd be like, all right, I can do it for six. You'd be like, okay, I could do it. But if I went and said, hey, it's $6,000, like, okay. And I was like, oh, you know what? Actually, it's $10,000. You'd be like, yo, no, that doesn't work like that. So you can always price anchor it and go back down and you might find that if you went from charging one to three k to five k people might not even hesitate closing and then from there just keep increasing your prices and cool thing that's a little bit reassuring for you is i have some clients that are charging over forty thousand dollars for their product me myself and my company we've sold some programs for over forty thousand dollars too so trust me when i say this once you can make people see why it makes sense to pay you an amount they'll throw any money at you honestly like it's their first time going to the strip club just throw them money and i got some more videos on my page page. Just check them out. They'll give you some more tips on how to increase your prices and the whole pricing strategy. Just go find them. They're on my YouTube page. Check them out. And then finally, the last step, which is automate and scale. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is you need to track everything you're doing from the very beginning. Remember how I talked about doing organic paid ads and IG shout outs? Well, you could have an Excel sheet where you just track, you know, how much you spend on each of them, how many messages or leads you're getting, how many of them turned into a booked appointment, how many of them showed up, how many of them turned into clients clients and essentially the most important, how much it costs to get you a client. The reason is you can't scale if you don't track your numbers because at the end of the day, numbers don't lie and they don't ghost you either. When you track your numbers, you can see what's working and what you need to optimize. So let's imagine you're already doing 10K a month and with everything I just taught you, you wanna to go to 30K a month. Typically, the first thing that'd come to your mind is, hey, I need more leads or I need to spend more money on ads. But if you've been tracking your numbers the right way, you could find maybe that if you increase your show rate that you would make more money. So hypothetically, if you notice that less people are showing up to your calls and you could just get more people to show up to your calls, that could easily add additional thousands of dollars to your business and that's just profit in your pockets. So you see why it's important to track your numbers. And you know, once your business has a solid foundation, that means you have a great program that you can actually get people results. You have a proven offer, you have a proven client acquisition method, and most importantly, you're ready to scale. And you're gonna do basically what you've already been doing, but just at a larger scale. You know, maybe spend more money on ads, bring in more team members, add more tools to your stack and automate more of the day-to-day -day stuff to get yourself more free time, and eventually gradually remove yourself from the business in a way that it can run without you. Kind of like where I am right now, majority of my time is just shooting content. You know, you could do other things like travel, go on vacation, spend time with your loved ones, do the things you enjoy and just still make a lot of money in your business and help a lot of people in the process. So there you have it, guys, the seven step process that'll take you from zero dollars to one million dollars with high ticket coaching. And obviously, you know, we talked about a million different things here. And I want to give you the thousand foot overview of what it looks like to start your high ticket coaching businesses, creating an offer, getting clients and scaling your business to seven figures. If I wanted to give you every little single detail, this video would probably get an award for the longest YouTube video on the planet earth, but I've taken everything you need to know, all the tiny details, everything you need to do step-by-step, step, all put it into a structured course and I'm giving it away for free. I'm giving you all the SOPs, all the videos, everything you need to know to go from zero to 100K months with high ticket coaching, all for free. And the simple reason is, is you know, I just wanna build trust with you. I wanna show you the stuff that I'm talking about is actually real, it's actually legit. And to be fully transparent with you, this is the same course course that clients have paid me over $10,000 to get access for this information. And it's yours 100% for free. So simply all you have to do is go to my YouTube, find the video that says free course and watch that to get access. No strings attached. My gift to you 100% for free. So with that being said, I hope you found value in this video. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them in the comments down below. Just make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any content in the future. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.